Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to install the stone cold chillers on your one wheel GT. What you need to do first is remove the wheel from your one wheel GT and there are plenty of videos on how to do this on YouTube. Once you've done that, watch the rest of the video. Once you have your wheel off the board, go ahead and locate the notch in the axle. This marks the up direction when the wheel is installed back on the board. Place your chiller over the axle and align the logo with that notch and then press down until it clicks into the bearing. Next you want to take your T20 tool and I like this uh, driver because it allows you to really get into some tight spaces easily and go ahead and tighten down that screw a little bit. It doesn't have to go really tight, just snug so that it can't move and it doesn't rotate. Now in order to remove this you need to go back and unscrew the screw so it's loose and then you may be able to pull it off just with your hands like this. If not, if it's a little tighter, what I like to use are a few flat screwdrivers and what we're going to do is come in from each edge like this and go down underneath the lowest fin and we're going to go perpendicular to this slit line here in the chiller because if we try to pull up from down here we could bend a fin or maybe damage it. Now to protect the anodizing and your wheel it's a good idea to throw a little microfiber over the top and then slowly pry up from both sides at the same time and we'll come right off. So one optional step if you want to is you can apply a little bit of thermal paste to the inside of the bore of the chiller and then slide it into place and of course wipe off any excess. Now it's a good idea to put it on the bore of the chiller and not on the axle because if you put it on the axle and then you install the chiller well it's going to push all that down right into the bearing which is not what we want. If it's in the bore of the chiller then as you slide it on the excess comes up and that's an easier and cleaner way. And that's it. Once you get the stone cold chillers on both sides of your wheel, go ahead and install it back into your GT. Go out, ride, and have fun. We'll see you out there.